This is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how to create location tracking app using MIT App Inventor. Using this app, you can track location of your friends. In this app, we will use the location sensor and Firebase to store our locations. So let's start. Click on start new project. We are using your MIT App Inventor to create this app. Location tracking app that's my first screen here let me just design my app here first so i will use your one level and click on that screen and make sure this align horizontal and the align vertical should be in a center like this okay and we need to drag and drop your one button then we need three more levels here like this two and then three and we need one more button two for track location and we need one map click on map you can see that map like this you can use this map with and hide is automatic or you can say fill, fill parent it will be fine like this now in that first label you have to just change to your searching whenever our location is changed then this will update here this one is for searching location okay in that button first button what we will do we will use your whenever we want to turn off our location so we have to use this button so in that here i will use your turn of location in the default this will uh, get your location now i'm going to change that screen color to background i'm going to change background color from here and i will use your any color i will use your custom color to something like that okay you can use any color here now i need to use your address okay so whenever the location update so we have to display our address here so i will use a address okay and in that here value of zero and in that is is also zero we will display the longitude and latitude value here okay and on, on that button click we have to use your track location track location so whenever someone uh, click on that button so we can get that uh, longitude and latitude value and we will zoom that map in that uh, longitude and latitude value it means and that address okay so now click on the track button and you can change that color also like that right so that's the design now let's uh, do one thing we need your sensor and the sensor is first is location sensor this one okay and then we need your firebase storage uh, this one is experimental drag and drop this firebase okay right now we have to connect that app to firebase because we have to store the location okay so now uh, let's just create the firebase first dot firebase dot google okay and you can see that's the recent project we need to click on add project option and my project name is suppose coding bus tracking app tcb like that and continue and then disable this and create project go to the continue okay now uh, in the left side you will find real time database okay and then we need to click on the create database this one and then next then enable now what we need to do we need to go to the rules option here okay and then we need to make that false value should be true like this and make it also true like this and click on publish yes published now go to data now here find in the that url just copy this url okay copy this go to the mit app inventor app click on firebase and you can see firebase url you have to paste the url here simple now we have connected our app with firebase now go to the block so whenever someone open our app okay so uh, what will happen we need to uh, fetch the uh, location okay so first thing click on the location sensor okay and whenever the location is changed okay whenever the location is changed then we will update our level value you can see that is searching it means level one so we will change that value level one set level one text to update it we will update text to update it right 
now we need to get the location okay so we will store our latitude and longitude value in the firebase okay so how we can do that so we need to use your firebase this one and you will find your store value this one and in which tag we have to store so i will use your text field okay and that text field is LAT, latitude so value we have to store latitude this one like this just copy paste uh, two more times like this okay and in the second we will use here long uh, and that value we will store longitude and here we will store the address okay so how we can get that address so remove it from here for right now we will store the address uh, from where you can see the location sensor and you will find the get current address option get current address you can see the current address this one so just copy paste this one here and use this one here and remove it and just type your address right now we have three field we have it stored on our firebase now we have to fetch that value okay now click on firebase db now we have to get that data in our app okay so for that whenever the data is changed okay this one this will be called then we will we will get that uh, the value tag value okay now suppose the location is changed uh, then the latitude value is stored in our firebase db okay so how we can get that so we will use your condition control and if okay if the value it means logic drag and drop this equal sign if the tag is equal to LAT, this one tag, okay, then we will store our information in that level. Which one level? In that one, latitude, this one, level 3. And this one is level 4, right? So level 3 and level 4. So we will store our information in level 3. Level 3 dot sad text, this one. And we will store that value like this. Oh, sorry, we have to change that value. Write this else if we will use uh, more else if you like this and if the tag is equal to long okay then we have to store that longitude value it means value is in that level 4 channel level 4 okay now if the tag is address okay so we will use one more else if okay and then just check the condition first to make sure the tag is address then we will store that address value in our level 5 oh there is no level 5 go to the design check this one is address it means level 2 okay so go back select level 2 and that value is address right now we have we are getting that value here okay now whenever whenever someone click on that turn off location button so we have to hide our location okay so how we can uh, how we can make this app to stop tracking our own location so we will use your one flag variable define one variable and the variable name is flag and that flag value is suppose zero in the initial stage okay now whenever i click on that button it means turn off location button this means button one okay so whenever i click on that button one like this then we will set that flag value 0 to 1 right this one now what will happen whenever we store the location whenever we store the location in firebase so we have to check if if the condition okay if the flag value okay if the flag value is equal to 0 okay if the flag value is 0 then we will store all this location right otherwise not otherwise we will not store location right so if i just turn off whenever i click on that uh, button one it means our my tracking location is off now that we have stored now whenever someone uh, click on that track location okay it means button two so click on that button two this one so we have to zoom our uh, map click on map and you can find here that the uh, pan this one okay the longitude and latitude so the longitude latitude value first thing latitude value in level uh, 3 so level 3 dot text this one 
label four dot text value is here, and then we will make the zoom value to around ten. You can increase this value to make it more uh, zoom. Okay, it's depend on you. Now this is fine. Now what we need to do, we need to do one more thing. We can use here one uh, more thing like whenever uh, if you want to turn uh, turn on your location. Okay, so how we can uh, do that? So we will use your condition. So use control F. Okay, and we will use your maths check like this. If the flag value, it means get flag value, is equal to zero, okay, then set this value flag to one. But, but, else uh, you can say else simple. If the value is not zero, then we will make it zero, like this. But uh, here, what I will do, I want to change that to the text and uh, the design of that button okay so what i will do here whenever we want to turn off our location so we have to click on that button set background color okay so whenever we turn off our location okay then we will change that background color and the color i'm going to make this one is red right okay and we need to change that to one more thing here click on button one and you can see button one dot text where is this button one dot text we have to change this one also and in that text value i will use here the uh, value is turn on your location turn on location okay but if the value is uh, one and if we want whenever i click on again then this value will be zero then what we'll do we will set this button color to green background color to green and the button text we will make it as a turn off okay like this so that's the overall code to track someone else location using this app okay you can take a screenshot of that code oh make sure don't forget flag like this hey that's the screenshot okay <laughs> right so that's the overall code to create an app to track location of uh, uh, your friends or someone using your own app okay so if you have some doubt you can ask me on command and please just suggest some uh, tips if you want to improve this app so let me just suggest on command so thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.